Greetings, adventurers. This is Valinette from WoW Gold Titans. I'm here to give you our first holiday guide. This will be for Brewfest 2011. This will be for the Horde side. One of the first things that you'll need is a level 85 character, because one of the achievements requires you to be uh, use a dungeon finder to be 85, maybe 84. Uh, you're going to also need a lot of booze. It's going to be important and a mage to teleport you around, unless you want to fly around for 15 minutes. Um, here's the things that you will need to do to get your Brewmaster title. You're going to complete the Brewmaster meta achievements, which include the Brewfest diet. Does your Warple Tinger linger? Dire Brewfest. Down with the Dark Iron and Have Keg Will Travel. As well as join the Brew of the Month Club. So those are the achievements you're going to have to do, and here's the quests that you're going to have to do in order to get the Brewfest prize tokens from the Brewfest grounds in order to buy a few items that you'll need. One of the first quests is called Chug and Chuck. You're going to need to grab one of these uh, beer mugs on the table and drink it and you'll instantly chuck it at a little walking robot. All right. From this quest you're going to get 8 gold and 10 tokens. All right, so pick up one, go in your inventory, drink it, you throw it at the guy. There. The self-turning and oscillating utility target. Stout. So I drink five uh, mugs of beer, toss it, very easy. You just have to click a few buttons. And you don't even need to target it, I'm just targeting it there so you can see which thing you're trying to hit. So there, one quest complete. 10 Brewfest prize tokens already. And I'm going to keep a little tally at the bottom there so that you guys know how many you've earned through these quests. The second one um, is c Catch the Wild Warple Tinger. So for this one, you're going to get 1 gold, 60 silver, and you're going to get the pet, the Warple Tinger. And it's basically a bunny with like tree antlers. Alright, so first, you're going to have to get drunk. So you can do this with uh, your Brewfest Steins that from last year, or you could use the one from this year that is self-refilling, which is pretty cool. And Or you can use the uh, goggles that make it look like you're drunk. So you go walk around the grounds, and I suggest having your unit frames on so that you can find the yellow wild Wolpeltingers. So I just click on them, use the uh, net, and just walk away because after you use it on him they'll get stunned and then you'll automatically pick it up it goes in your inventory once you get five go back to the quest giver turn it in and you'll get a pet so this isn't for the achievement it's just for a nice pet and it gets you drunk which makes it easier to do the next one pink Alex on parade so this one's pretty cool because you're going to get 40 Brewfest prize tokens. All right, so this is why you need a mage, because they're going to teleport you to the three different cities. The first one I went to was the Undercity. All right, so while you're drunk, you target a pink elephant and use the Dispersion Ray. And it's pretty easy, because you need to do it on three of them. So the only hard part is traveling around. So if you're starting an org, you're either going to do a flight path to Thunder Bluff, which takes about four minutes, and then you're going to take the Zeppelin to Undercity, and then unless you can fly, uh, unless you have a mage to teleport you, you're going to have to take the flight path to Silvermoon to do the last step. So, and that's like a seven minute flight. And then, you know, you can Hearthstone back to Orgrimmar. So here in Molgar, there's three already, and then we can teleport to Silvermoon and take care of the last three. So as you can see on screen, you can see the location of the Brewfest grounds and where all the uh, big pink elephants are. And, you know, remind you that you do need to be intoxicated to see the elephants, because no sane person would see giant pink elephants. So we go back to Orgamar, poof, turn in our quest, and get a very hefty 40 Brewfest prize tokens. So already we've got 50. One of the other quests you can do is uh, bark for the brewery of your choice. So you see I just grabbed some apples there. Um, there's another apple stand. 
and you're going to use the rope leash to make your ram go faster. I suggest um, staying in the yellow, which will increase your exhaustion by one point. And I suggest tasting, taking this path. I find it uh, fairly easy to travel, and it gets you there pretty fast. Um, there are no apples within Orgrimmar that I found. So once you get to around 80, if you're comfortable 90, uh, go down to the, the walking speed, the green, so that you can regenerate some exhaustion. All right, so there's the third one, Valley of Wisdom. That way you don't get exhausted and, and waste 11 seconds uh, at a, at a tr very, very slow trot. Uh, you can take a little shortcut, and there's the last one. And then I suggest dismounting, and then you can use your flying mount, because that goes faster than the ram. All right, so you fly back, and lucky for you, here's the Dark Iron Dwarves attack. So for completing that daily, you get 15 profess prize tokens, so you're up to 65. So for this one, when the dwarves attack every 30 minutes, you're going to have to use the drink from before on the stout guy, and when you drink it, an NPC will automatically throw you another one. So you can put it on your hot bar and just keep drinking and drinking and drinking, and every time you chuck it, you're going to hit a dwarf. Um, I suggest aiming your character in the direction of each dwarf, but you don't have to target them. All right, they're called Dark Iron Guzzlers. And if you've got enough people in the area doing this with you, you'll be able to kill enough of them, and you'll be able to get the prize. And if you stand too close, then you're going to get punted like that. So I suggest standing near the uh, table there. So if you kill enough of them, there will be a, a gear that will appear right where the rumbling is. And it's a daily, um, and you can get 10 Brewfest prize tokens from completing that. All right, if you do that, then you're at 75. And you're going to need a total of 202. All right, so here's the last one that for the quest, I think. It's the, uh, it's the, the running. You've got to go to the crashed uh, site of the brewery delivery company and deliver one barrel of beer at a time. So this is the path that I took. All right, you get the ram for four minutes. You use the leash like before. If you put it at the fastest speed, you should be able to hit all the apples. And right there, uh, I lagged out. I got there at 95, so it didn't register. I ate the apples. So depending on your latency, uh, you got to be careful to hit all the apples. All right. So just keep going back and forth. And the very nice thing about it is every barrel you bring back you're going to get about 30 seconds added to your time. So even though they give you the RAM for four minutes, you could end up doing this for about seven, maybe seven and a half, eight, depending on how good you are. And, you know, if you uh, don't get exhausted, you hit all of your apples, and you don't accidentally miss picking up a barrel of beer or miss delivering one, because then you know, you're going to have a wasted trip. So you can see here, I did about 8. You might be able to get up to 10 uh, trips, which would be 20 tokens, because you get 2 tokens for each trip. And this will put you at around 100 tokens. So here's uh, the point of view that I the, of the path that I took to do the run. All right, and then there's all the apples. There's one in the back there. And then you're going to turn around and run back. Hit the apples again. And hit the second apple and you can go left and then make a tight u-turn and go back for another round or you can go right and go around take the big u-turn and go through the tent and then hit the apples on the way back so there's a couple options um, for the dire brew dire brews dire brew you're going to have to kill core and dire brew so this is the boss fight fairly simple Tank and Spank, um, he's got some ads, but they're not even elites, so don't even worry about him. Just focus on the boss. Um, and for killing him the first time, you're going to get an item to bring back to the grounds, and you're going to get 40 Brewfest prize tokens. And he drops a couple nice trinkets, so hopefully you can grab a few of those. All right, so do all the quests, complete all the achievements, and there's your Brewmaster achievement. Your Brewfest title, Brewmaster. 
All right, this has been Valinette with Wild Gold Titans. Make sure if you liked it, let us know. Leave some comments, send us mail, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, all that good junk. All right, later, adventurers.